Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to the New World Open Beta. I came back to our faction leader here for the Marauders to turn in a couple of the quests that we had done, and I realized we have a little button that says we can buy rewards. Uh, and it looks like there's quite a few uh, available items here that we could save up for. We have some weapons that cost about a thousand of these little tokens. We could get a cool hat right now. A long sword. So yeah, lots of cool things here for us. This is, I really like this. Um, that This is a doubling as a vendor that we can buy gear from as we progress our faction. And it looks like there are certain, thresh, uh, certain thresholds for which we get uh, new Let items. So 3,000 reputation, we get more items. At 11,000, at 26,000, and then again at 49,000. So that's pretty cool. We are strongest together. Let us endeavor to bring victory. We're going to head over here today, but I'm also going to grab these other two that are on the board. Uh, but we are headed A lot of it is all in the same area actually. We're headed over for uh, plunder the gray mists. Acquire each iron compass. All right, everything we have to do is right over this way, so let's go ahead and we'll just head out. As far as main quest... Oh, we've, we've progressed with our reputation enough to continue the main quest, so maybe we will check on that before we leave town here. I've changed some settings so that the most of the HUD will hide itself when we're not in combat. I've also made it so that the chat text is smaller and disappears faster off the screen so that we're not cluttering our screen up with that. I wish there was a way to shrink down the quest UI up in the top right, uh, but I didn't I find anything. Wondering when you'd stop by and say hello again. I hear good things about the work you and your new allies have been doing. Keep it up. Monarch's Bluffs is a special place. A place where anyone can feel safe and welcome, regardless of where they came from or even what kind of person they are. Yes, you understand. That's why we have to protect this settlement, whatever it takes. We've had a bit of a misunderstanding with the settlement in Winsworth. But we need to look after ourselves first. Hmm, what happened? There's a brooch. An heirloom of sorts. We, we, we had agreed to give it to them as a gesture of goodwill, but the courier carrying the brooch was waylaid by the withered. And the brooch was lost. Exactly! Oh, I hoped you'd volunteer. The courier took the north road. So, check the withered at the Mines de Miclo. Go and reclaim it, but then... Bring it back here. It's a finders keepers situation at that point. Hmm. All right, we've been over at the mines. They're actually not far from here. I think I want to go do. Do we want to do the main stuff first? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's run up and do the stuff up here first, and then we'll come down and do the main story content on the way back to town. Uh, we do have territory standing here. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, XP gains. We're going to take that. We have some attribute points that we do need to spend. I'm wondering if I need to put more points in the constitution. When we got killed by those wolves last time, it made me think maybe we don't have enough health. I also like how it's showing the buffs that we're getting off of our equipment. How much we're getting from buffs, how much we're getting from equipment within the purple and blue segments here. Let's go constitution for now. Really wish we, when we're in a town, that it would automatically zoom the map in. Oh, like that. It did it that time. <laughs> That's exactly the view I wanted.
We'll have to remember to make a camp once we're up there so that if we get killed, we'll be able to respawn somewhere reasonably close. I also like to take the time to point out that as players have spread out throughout the game world, uh, the game's visual quality has improved, so uh, we're not getting as much lag as we were getting previously, so everything is running a lot smoother now that all the players have kind of probably passed up where I'm at. I'm leveling at a much slower pace than many people who are in the beta, and I don't mind that because the game has been running a lot better because of it. Like right now, instead of it eating up 100% of my CPU, it's only eating up 40%. <laughs> so that's a really huge change. And I hope they can do more to optimize the game so that it runs this smoothly all the time for everybody. Like regardless of what settings you're playing on. I feel like I'm not doing enough crafting but then again, it is beta, so I feel like the thing for crafting is you probably want your main professions to be the same level as your character, so we'd really want all of our, especially our gathering stuff, to be about level 11. That's my guess anyway. Got some level 13 guys up here. Everything we have for quest is marked level 10, but we have some level 13 guys kind of in our way. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Let's go back to the hammer for now. What I've realized is that certain enemies are weak against certain damage. You can see that our damage text is popping up there in yellow. And next to the yellow damage number, it has two arrows pointing upward. And then beneath that, the type of damage, which I believe is impact damage. So yeah, strike damage. So the hammer does strike damage, the, the long sword that we had does slash damage, and I didn't really realize it, but different enemies are weak against different types of damage. It makes perfect sense. Uh, but how often is that the case in an MMO? It usually isn't these days. And I think that's really interesting. I like it a lot. It really makes you want to have two different types of damage available to you. So yeah, and, and to pay attention to, like, for instance, these undead take much more damage from our hammer, from the strike damage, than, than they do from the slash damage, so... Uh, I think that's really awesome. I love systems like that. What am I doing in this area? Am I just fighting people? Oh, you have guns! Ouch. Ouch. Taking on two of these guys is maybe not ideal. We need to get better at dodging attacks. We're just trying to defeat these turncoats, I guess. Three out of four completed. Got some items there. Got an improved ice gauntlet. I tried this out for a minute and I didn't really care for it. I'm not opposed to trying it out again, but I don't think it'll be right now. Swashbuckler Coat of the Assassin. Dexterity and Intelligence. 
really just want to see what it looks like at this point. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of like, it reminds me of Davy Jones <laughs> in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, his crew, how we have kind of, we have a sea star growing on us and some other things. Uh, why am I suddenly walking really slowly? Are we encumbered? We are encumbered. What can we break down? Oh, we can't do any abilities because we're encumbered. I'm I'm pretty sure we're, we're locked out of our abilities right now. That's interesting and dangerous. Let's uh, take care of this a little bit quicker. Alright, that got our weight capacity down a little bit. We've got our four out of four here. Search chest for iron compass. Okay. Not up here. Okay, so maybe it's going to be out on these islands. I'm not seeing any chest out here. Let's head back towards the shore. It's sometimes hard to tell what the radius is or if that's trying to mark an exact location. Mainly because, you know, I, that's not really appearing on my map at all anyway. We don't have our dodge roll anymore, because the piece of gear we equipped must have been a little bit heavier than the one we previously had on, so we just have a little strafe to the side or to the back. Alright, do we want to just grab another skill? Do we want to come over here and grab a skill? It's hard to say how much you should cross between the two talent trees. Strike the ground around a target with hammer dealing 120% weapon damage and flattening the enemy. Powerful ground strike that erupts in a linear wave in front of the player dealing 110% weapon damage to all targets in its path. Let's go here for now.
I think I'm going to move on from this. Oh, we got a connection error there. That's fun. All right, we were able to get back in after a couple of minutes there. Not very long downtime on the server. It's weird how sometimes these icons appear as skulls and sometimes they appear as numbers. I'm still a little bit confused about this one. Oh, we also seem to have lost... Uh, I don't know if we've lost some progress, but it's definitely set us... Oh, we have too many enemies there. I am not going to fight that many. We are going to run away. Oh, they don't care. <laughs> uh, they have quite long leashes. Okay, now they've reset. We didn't lose any progress because we are still wearing the chest piece that we had equipped, but it seems like it just put us in a weird spot. Ouch. I'm not sure about this compass, whether we're killing people for it, or what the deal is exactly. Alright, I guess it was in this chest. Yeah, plus one iron compass. Okay then. We were just looking for a chest to spawn. Good to know. I kind of like having the ability to dodge roll. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're going to keep the light armor until we can dump some more points into constitution. Maybe that's what I need to do. We could totally respec. Has no cost right now. Let's do 10 and 10. That's probably just a beta thing, right? Letting me respec wherever in the world I want for no cost? Or do you guys think that's something that's going to be, like, permanently in? Let's go investigate the boat. Whoa, one of them is casting at us? Yeah.
That was a little rough. We got a health potion out of it. There's probably a place we can buy these, isn't there? Because I haven't figured out how to craft them yet. Let's regenerate some of our health. Whoops, uh, that's not good. What do we do now? Can we climb out of here? There we go. Officer Boots of the Fighter, light footwear, that's awesome, that's what we need, strength and dex, it has an empty gem socket. Do we have any gems? Mm, I don't think so. We've taken care of everything in this area, but I, I want to try to investigate, I guess it's leading us up here, the question mark. We're going to go back on these switchbacks and climb up this mountainside here. Traders hold. This is a level 13 area, so probably not where we want to be. So I guess our alternative here is that we head all the way back down into the mines. Can we can we recall yet? Yeah, we could recall. Let's go ahead and recall. It'll probably be a little bit more straightforward to get there from the town than from up here. We're going to go back and turn in our faction missions.
Uh, that is assuming that I remember where the place is at. I think it's all the way back here. Okay, I think we just bought a bunch of potions. Potentially, maybe. Yes, we did. Oh, see, that's a weak health potion. We had one common health potion. Oh, well, they weren't very expensive. Rainbow Lions. Because why not Rainbow Lions? Look at this. I bet this was here the whole time, wasn't it? Committees are the worst from the personal notes of Com Commander Joshi of the Marauders, Windsward. I hate committees, always have. When two or more imbeciles are too scared or stupid to act, they form a committee. But against my better judgment, I agreed to this pact between the factions. I thought the common threat of corruption was obvious enough that we'd be compelled to take action. But whenever I propose a joint attack, I am blocked by cowards. The Syndicate hides behind its paperwork and the Covenant hides behind its pews. It's all just politics and posturing. Meanwhile, more good people are lost to corruption every single day. I must go. It's time for another strategy meeting. God, I really hate committees. We are strongest together. Let us endeavor to bring victory to the Marauders. Do we want to grab this hammer? I think so. Oh, and see, some of these are repeatable. I'm not going to take any of these ones right now. If we need to gain experience or we want more tokens, we can do that again, but... Oh, we cannot equip this yet. Why not? Oh, requires level 15. There we go, that'll clean up some of the clutter on the top right of the screen. Oh, 
It seems like with a lot of the locations in this game, there's really only a couple of viable ways to get in and you really have to look at the roads. Like, I don't think we'd be able to get over this. Maybe we could if we put our mind to finding a way to climb up. But it really seems like we were being funneled back to the road to get around into the mine here. See, that's medium, so we're not going to equip that. I'd rather keep the light stuff for now and be able to t do the full dodge roll. I feel like it's a lot more useful than the sidestep. And another connection error. <laughs> 